Thanks for calling in General Revenue Service. Okay, all right. Yes, I'm here. I'm a technician for the computer. Okay, for one year, this is $249.95. Debit card, debit card, cash, check. You order one. Am I clear to you? <laughs> Internal Revenue Service, how can I help you? Yes, <clears throat> yes ma'am. I was returning a phone call. Uh, good afternoon, sir. When did you receive the call from our department? Uh, I just got in a few minutes ago and it was on my phone. I, I really don't know when the message okay. was left. In order for me to pull out your case file, can you go ahead and verify me your number on which you received the call? Yeah, it was this number, 646-315-2683. Okay, what's your first name? Phil. Spell that for me. P-H-I-L. And what's your last name, Phil? Mislo. M-E-S-L-O-W. M-E-S-L-O-W. Right. Okay. What's your current zip code, Phil? My zip code is 10029. Okay. Just be on hold with me for a moment. Let me check that in my system and see why you have received a call from our department. Okay. Thank you. What's your address over there, Phil, so that I can make sure I'm talking with the correct person? Yeah, it's 439 Farnham Road, F-A-R-N-U-M. Uh -huh. That's New York, New York. 10029. Right. Mm -hmm. Well, there is no 439 Farnham Road in New York. I'm sorry? There is no 439 number in Farnham Road. Well, it's a new development. Oh, really? It's a new development? I also, I'm also, you know, citizen of USA. I hadn't ever heard about this. How can this be possible? You've never heard about what? I'd never heard about this. You've never heard about what? Hello? You making me see? Ma'am, I can't hear you. Am I doing what? Hello? Yeah. Can you hear me now? Yeah, not good, but I can. Okay. I am asking you that there is no such address updated under your name in the IRS documents. How can this be possible? I don't know. It's a new development. It's, I've lived here for about but two... But I've you didn't update your address with Internal Revenue Service? How can this be possible? Well, I was going to update it this when I filed my taxes for 2017. Okay, you were going to. Yeah. Because I, ha I have Bandai. to file my taxes for last year, and I was going to update it then. Okay. So don't you have any local IRS office nearby you, where you can simply go down to and change your address? Not that I'm what aware. What if we need to, no, no, what if we need to be in touch with you? Should we have to search for your address all over the USA? I don't know. I, I don't know how it works, ma'am. Then what do you know? You are not a law-abiding citizen of the United States. Yeah, I'm a law-abiding citizen. You don't seem so. I've never been in trouble in my life. Oh, you... I don't believe that. Anyway...
Phil, we have called you to ascertain your attorney's information that there is a legal allegation and a lawsuit is being filed against you by Internal Revenue Service. So, are you aware about the situation? No, ma'am. Did you say a lawsuit? Yes. No, ma'am. I am not. What, what All right, for? so I will go ahead and read out the legal allegation against your name. But before I do that, make sure to not interrupt me. Listen to me very carefully. I will give you a fair enough chance to speak on this federally recorded life. Am I clear with this? Yes. All right, now, Phil Mislow, as per the documents, we conducted an audit on your taxes filed for the year 2011 till 2016. We found out that there are some numerical or a systematic errors done in your taxes filed for those years does not match the tax record that we have. Okay. So, Mr. Meslow, according to the IRC section 7201 and 101, that amount is still outstanding on your name, which you have not paid. For that reason, the local authorities with a rich warrant will come at your place, your driver's license will be cancelled, and everything under your name, your property, your bank account, will be frozen and confiscated, which means that you have to complete the next 15 days judicial custody behind the bars till your next hearing date from the courthouse. Okay. Now here I can see the total amount bill which is outstanding under your name is $5,300 which include your legal charges, pending taxes and the late payment fees. Okay, So now Phil is low on this highly recorded line which will be served as a piece of evidence to the courthouse. I want to know your intention that did you do this intentionally to fraud the federal government or was it done by just an honest mistake from your side? No, ma'am. It, it was a honest mistake. I, I was not aware of this. Can, can I ask your name? I'm sorry. I don't even know who I'm speaking with. Officer Emmy Ham. I'm sorry, can you say it again? Officer M E Ham. Can you spell it? A as in Alpha, M as in Maria, Y as in Yankee, and last name is Ham. H as in Harry, A as in Alpha, M as in Maria. Amy Ham. Mm -hmm. Okay, all right. With the federal batch ID. G as in Gary, S as in Sam, 1407. Okay. Where are you from, Miss Ham? Right. I'm from the Federal Department of Internal Revenue Service. No, no, I mean, where were you born? Where, what country are you from? Florida. Florida? Mm -hmm. Oh, you don't sound like it. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay, so I owe 53. All right, now once we end up with this conversation, one of the local officers will contact you and serve you the legal code notifications. That is Code SIM, Code Safina, along with your arrest warrant, and will take you into custody for the next 15 days. These are the legal consequences and actions which would be claimed against your name. Now I want you to be very honest with your answer on this highly recorded light. Okay. Did you do this intentionally to defraud the government, or was it just an honest mistake? No, it, it was a mistake. I, I was not aware of this. What, what year is this from? Okay. From 2012 till 2017. So it's for There five. are two options available for you. Either you can get arrested and fight the case against IRS inside the courthouse and prove yourself innocent in front of the judge and jury. Second option, if you think it was an honest mistake, you could resolve the case outside the courthouse by paying the outstanding amount which you owe to the IRS without getting arrested and without facing any legal consequences. 
So which option would you like to go with? Do you want to fight this case against the IRS in the courthouse of Washington, D.C., or you want to take care of the subject matter outside the courthouse? No, I don't want to go to the goat house in Washington. I, you know, is there any way I could set up a payment plan? At this point of time, sir, I am no one to judge you over the phone, that you are innocent or not. All right? At this point of time, there are only two options available with you. Either you can fight this case against the IRS in the courthouse of Washington, D.C., or you can take care of the subject matter outside the courthouse without involving any legal course of action. So you can let me know what you exactly want to do at this point of time. Yeah. I don't want to fight it in the goat house. I don't want to do that. Can we settle okay. it out? Can we settle it? Well, just be on hold with me. I will just submit your statements to my higher authorities. They will check out your past record. And if they found that you are not involved in any criminal activity in your entire life, then only you will be the you know, eligible citizen to take care of the subject matter outside the courthouse. Otherwise, I'm so sorry. You have to go with the legal procedure only. So just be on hold with me for a moment. <coughs> All right, now, Phil, as I go through your past record, yes, I see that you've been a law-abiding citizen with no prior criminal records. So on the I basis have. of that, we might be able to get you an option to convert your bad taxes into good taxes. So at this point of time, in order to take care of the subject matter outside the courthouse, in order to resolve it, you need to clear up the outstanding amount which you owe to IRS. So at this point of time, are you a capable person to come up with this much amount which you owe to IRS in order to take care of the situation outside the courthouse? Well, could I pay part of it and set up a payment plan for the rest? You want a payment plan option. Then you right. can let me know that what will be the maximum amount you can come up with today so that I can talk to my senior officers and see if something can be worked out for you. Uh, today I could probably do 2500 I've got. I have a credit card. All right, then. I have, I will submit your statements to my higher authorities and they will be with you on the same recorded line. Just make sure to be honest and cooperative with them and see if something can be done for you. That's okay. all I can do. Okay, so I won't be talking to you no more? Yeah. Okay, well I appreciate your help. You've been kind. Thank you. Just be on hold with me. Thanks. Thank you for being hold the line, get transferred to Senior Officer David Miller. I believe I'm speaking with Phil Maslow, is that correct? Yes, sir, that's right. Mr. Maslow, at this point of time, the line get transferred to Senior Officer David Miller. And my associate transferred this line to me as you are telling her that you are looking to resolve the case out of the courthouse without getting arrested. Is that correct? Yes, I don't want to go to the courthouse. That's correct. Now, if you want to resolve the case out of the courthouse without getting arrested, then you need to clear out the outstanding balance on your name that is $5,300. Now, you tell me, are you capable enough to clear that kind of outstanding balance on your name by today itself? Well, that's what I was telling uh, Miss Ham. I, I don't have 5300 I could pay part of it and set up a payment plan if that's possible. So how much you can able to come up with by today? Uh, I could. I've got a debit card. I could do twenty five hundred. Okay, so you got twenty five hundred dollars with you, well, right? Well, it's it's in the bank on a debit card. It's in a bank on a debit card. With which bank you're banking with? Uh, credit union. Credit union. All right. Federal now, Navy, just Federal been a whole Navy Credit Union. Now, at this point of time, what exactly we can do is that we can go ahead and I can talk with my higher authority about it. I need to check it out whether they're going to allow me a permission to provide you one more chance to resolve the case out of the courthouse or not. Okay. Okay. So, in the meanwhile time, I wanted to put you on a hold for a few moments so that I can 
right back to you with a solution of this, okay? Okay, all right. Make sure the line not get disconnected, all right? Okay. Thank you for being hold. You still there? Yes, sir. I'm here. All right. I just had a word with my higher authority about it, and they are ready to provide you one more chance to resolve the case out of the courthouse. That's now, great. how exactly you need to resolve the case out of the courthouse by clearing this outstanding balance on your name? That information you will be getting from my accounting department. They will provide you the information like what exactly you need to do in order to resolve the case out of the courthouse. Okay? Okay. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to transfer this line to my accounting department. They will let you know what exactly you can do on this okay. case. All right? Okay. All right. Thanks. All right. So just been a hold. Let me transfer this line. Sure. Thanks for holding the line. This is Jason O'Connor, yes. Senior Investigating Officer with the IRS. I'm speaking with Phil Mesla. Yes, sir. That's right. Okay, Phil, how are you doing today? Well, I'm not doing great. I'm recovering from surgery, but other than that, I'm okay. Okay. All right, I can understand that. An awful your line has been transferred to me. From the recent update from my executive officer states that you want to resolve the case, correct? Yeah, I would like to, yeah. All right, so in order to resolve the case, in order to cancel the arrest warrant, we need to do an out-of-court settlement. Yeah, that's that's what they were saying. Out-of-court settlement means, well, without going to the courthouse, without getting arrested, without facing any kind of legal problems, you would be resolving the case by paying the amount which you owe to the IRS, which would be $5,300. Would you be able to pay the amount, Phil? Well, that's what I was telling uh, Mr. Miller. I don't have 5300 mm -hmm. uh, I've got a debit card that I could pay 2500 with and set up payments for the rest if that would be possible. Okay, so you're telling me you'd be paying an amount of $2,500 right now and the remaining balance on a monthly payment plan. Is that correct, folks? Yes, if I can do that, yeah. Okay. Now, as I said before, that in order to cancel the case and cancel the arrest warrant, we need to do an out-of-court settlement. Now, Phil, out-of-court settlement, you know, it's not a normal procedure. You know, it is not a simple thing that over the phone you can provide any kind of debit or credit card numbers to make this payment. No. Well, there are certain terms and conditions, Phil. There are certain protocols of the federal courthouse which you need to follow strictly. If you accept the conditions, if you follow the protocols, then and then only you can resolve, okay? Okay. Can I go to the website and pay it? No, I will let you know the entire procedure, what you need to do and oh, how okay. you need to do, okay? Okay, all right. First of all, Phil, I will explain you the conditions, like what are the conditions for this resolvement. Okay. If you accept the condition, you can let me know. We will start the procedures, all right? All right. So, Phil, condition number one. Condition number one is that. Till the time this case is not being resolved, till the time the arrest warrant is not being cancelled, you need to stay online with me and I need to record this entire conversation. Well, Phil, we need to submit this recording as an electronic evidence in the courthouse. Now, this recordings will be a proof, will be an evidence that this was an honest mistake from your side and you are struggling hard. To resolve the case. That means, Phil, in order to prove your genuinity to the federal courthouse members, this recordings will be a proof of evidence with the IRS. For that reason, you need to keep this conversation live. You are not allowed to disconnect this call. This was the first condition. Am I clear with the first condition with you? Yes, sir. Yeah. Okay. Now, condition number two. 
the second condition is that right now at this point of time for as your tax id is being blacklisted from the list of taxpayers so this amount of $2500 will not be accepted from any of your personalized debit card credit card neither through check or by cash payment will be done through an EFTPS if you want you can write it down it stands for an electronic federal tax payment system okay you got it or you want me to repeat it for you no I got it but let me ask you this you said I would be blacklisted what what does that mean that means right now your tax ID is being blacklisted you are a blacklisted taxpayer in the records just because of this tax evasion case going on your name so any kind of online transactions will not be directly made from any of your personalized checking account or any kind of debit card transactions okay okay for that reason we're going to follow the procedure of EFTPS in which you shall be required to convert this amount of $2500 into the federal tax bonds you know the tax vouchers which are available at any of the government certified places or any of the nationalized stores like a Walmart, Best Buy, CVS, Rite Aid, Kroger, any of the store can provide you a facility wherein you can convert your amount into the federal tax vouchers. Walmart says now sells you tax vouchers? Yes, that's correct. You know, you might be aware, I federal government has been associated with this major you know, like uh, nationalized stores where the taxpayers can get the facility of tax vouchers nationwide, okay? Okay, I did not know that. Okay. So now, once you convert this amount into the federal tax vouchers, first of all, we're going to complete a small verification procedure. Okay. And then, you need to mail those vouchers to the IRS headquarters at Washington, D.C. Once you mail the vouchers, the case will be cancelled, the arrest warrant will be cancelled. Once your arrest warrant is cancelled, in the next 24 hours, say by tomorrow, well, you would be having a meeting with the tax officer at your house on your convenient time, in which our officer will hand over the resolvement I'm, documentation. I'm sorry, I dropped my phone. Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear okay, you. Okay, I'm sorry. Now, I what I was telling you is that, you know, once you mail this vouchers, the case will be cancelled, the warrant will be cancelled. Okay. Once your arrest warrant is cancelled, in the next 24 hours, say by tomorrow, you would be having a meeting with the tax officer at your house on your convenient time, in which our officer will hand over the resolving documentations, like the clearance certificate and the no obligation certificate. Apart from this, our officer will carry the auditing papers. Okay. so that he can give you a proper explanation like where you made mistake on your tax filings and we'll also conduct a small 30 minute counseling session in which the officer will teach you will guide you how we need to file taxes from this year so by in future you don't have to face this kind of problems now this was the second condition full am i clear with the second condition with you yes i understand yes okay now condition number three well, the last and the final condition is that once we start this resolvement procedure, your case will be under subjudicial act. You know, it will be under Chapter 63C, which means IRS will not execute this case in public records. Now, public record means IRS will not send notice to your place of employer, to your state authorities, as well as to your bankers along with the local media the reason behind that is you know in case well, if we send notice to your place of employer this case will affect your job if we send notice to the state authorities they may issue a red flag on your name if a red flag is issued you will not be allowed to get any kind of legal jobs or any kind of government benefits for next three and a half years if this issue gets in local media like in local newspapers or news channels that will affect your reputation the dignity which you are holding up in the society so in order to make sure phil that you don't face this kind of problems irs will not execute this case in public records now if you really want to resolve the case phil then irs will accept the same cooperation from your end that until and unless we don't resolve the case we don't cancel the arrest warrant you need to follow a privacy protocol 
in which you need to keep this information confidential between you and the IRS. That means you're not allowed to speak with any third party about this case right now. Now, this would be the last condition, Phil. Am I clear with the last condition with you? With all due respect, sir, you're beginning to bore the hell out of me. This hospital food okay. sucks. Yes, yes, I'm okay. clear. Yes. This okay. hospital food about now, chokes me. Okay, I can understand that. Now, I just need an answer from your end, Phil. Do you accept these conditions for the resolvement? Sure, yeah. Okay, now in order to start the resolvement procedure, Phil, first of all, I want to know, right now I'm speaking with you on your cell phone or it's your landline? This which is line is it? Yeah, this is my cell phone, yeah. It's your cell phone. Now, which store you have nearby? Which is the major store you have nearby? Do you have a Rite Aid pharmacy nearby you? Uh, I've got a Walmart about a, about two miles from you, my house. You got a Walmart. And what about uh, this? You have 61 seconds. Say a Best Buy or Family Dollar or a Dollar General? Mm, there's a Dollar General a little bit closer. And how far is it? I don't know, maybe a mile, mile and a half, something like that. In that case, you can do one thing, you can uh, go down to a Walmart. So right now, in order to start the resolvement procedure, Phil, are you ready to leave to the Walmart to complete? You have 30 seconds. Do you hear that? I didn't get that. I, I keep hearing a recording says I have 30 seconds. Is oh, that on, is that what on kind of recording? I don't know. Okay. I, I thought it was so right now from, you're, from you. Okay, so right now you're ready to leave to the Walmart to start the procedures. No, I can't go right now. Why, what's the Hello? Yes, I was just speaking with someone and we got disconnected. Yes, Phil, we just got disconnected. Okay, it was you. I was just asking you, like, you're ready to leave to the Walmart to start the procedures. Well, I, like I said earlier, I'm in the hospital. <laughs> I, I can't. You can't. So how are you going to resolve? Like, if you're not able to go down to the store right now, you won't be able to resolve the case. In that case, the only option is to start the legal procedures. Okay, because I, I just had surgery yesterday. I had to have a kidney removed. And I, I'm oh, you got I'm, your kidney removed? I'm one of them, yeah. And I'm going to be in the hospital for well, three okay. days. Okay, so you won't be able to go out of the hospital now? No, I, I, I'm, here. I'm in the bed. I, I can't. But I, I can take care of it you when do? I get out of the hospital. Well, that would be so late. You know, do you have any kind of, you know, online access to your bank account? No, I, I, no. I, no. So in that case, well, the only option will be to start the legal procedures. Okay, so they're going to come and arrest me? Yes, that's correct. You know, in the next 45 minutes, you would be served with the legal court notice and the courthouse documentation so at the hospital where you are right now. After three days, you know, when you would be out of hospital, you would be taken under custody for further investigations. Okay, all right. Whatever, Matacho, that'll be fine. <laughs> you scabber. Okay, boss, what do you care? <laughs> yeah, but in Kaloti. I've had you going Sorry? for an, I've had you going for an hour, you scammer. <laughs> <laughs> Do what? <laughs> you Matachoed. Hey, mother chode. Yeah, you the mother chode. Benkeloti, I've been wasting your time. I'm not in the hospital. <laughs> hey, can I talk to Amy again? He's gone.